Hey there, I'm Primal. Want to know how to find and defeat the Ender Dragon in Minecraft in under four minutes? No problem. Here we go. Get yourself a whole bunch of Ender Pearls and turn them into Eye of Ender by combining them with Blaze Powder. You can find Blaze in the Nether around Nether Fortresses. If you need to know how to get there and find them, check out the videos I'm linking above. Now as I bet you've noticed, when you throw the Eye of Ender, they rise into the air and move a distance. Follow them. If you run out, mark that spot with a block or a torch and come back when you have more Eye of Ender. Keep throwing and following them until you reach a village. This village will be the one with a stronghold underneath. When you see the Eye of Ender going down toward the ground, you are in the right spot. Dig down until you reach the stronghold. Each stronghold in Minecraft has a portal room. You're going to need to explore the stronghold to find the portal room to bring lots of torches. This stronghold is designed to try to make you get lost. So try to mark the way you've come so you retain your bearings. Make sure to look out for mobs in the stronghold. There are lots of places for zombies and skeleton archers and creepers to hide around corners and ambush an unsuspecting adventurer. Once you've found the portal, beware of the silverfish spawner in this room. Light up the portal by placing Eye of Ender in the frame around the outside. Also make sure to place a bed because you are likely to die once or twice while fighting the dragon. I like to have good armor, weapons, and plenty of food and arrows to fight the dragon. Also, you may wish to bring a few stacks of ladders or scaffolding. Once you get into the Ender Dragon's realm, beware of the Endermen who also live there. Try not to look at them. We only need to fight one enemy at a time. Find the dragon on the center of the island and look at all the obsidian pillars around her. You will need to break the end crystals at the top of these pillars before you fight the dragon. They shield and heal her, so it can be an endless fight unless you break these crystals. Use your ladders, or scaffolding, to climb up the pillars with the iron bars around them, and use a pickaxe to break them. The end crystals blow up when hit, so try to keep your distance and use a bow and arrow, or crossbow to take them out from range. Once you've broken one or two of these, you can target the other crystals from up on top of these pillars. Sometimes they will not be within render range, so shooting above the fires that are underneath them can help you hit them if you can't see them. Once you've taken care of the crystals, you can go down to the fountain where the dragon sometimes hovers above and attack her with your sword. One thing to note is the dragon is loud. Be sure to turn down your volume to preserve your speakers and your ears. Once the dragon dies, she will drop an egg and a bunch of experience orbs. The dragon egg will never hatch, and there is only one per world, so save it if you want. It is a rare block and makes for a nice decoration. After defeating the dragon, you have a choice. You can either jump through the fountain and return to the last spawn point in your world after seeing the Minecraft credits, or you can continue on to the outer islands of the end. If you see a small portal block, you can go through with an ender pearl and spawn in the outer islands. There are end cities and end ships here, or you can find some good loot. You can even find Elytra Wings, which will help you fly in the world of Minecraft, so they are worth looting. Anyway, I hope this helps you find and defeat the Ender Dragon in Minecraft. I'm Primal, and thanks for watching.